Hey what's going on guys, it's Combo here, welcome back to my channel, today I'm bringing you guys another episode of question and answer and I'm bringing you guys a gameplay on hijacked with the gold MSMC, it's a pretty high scoring match, as always with the question and answer video comes a pretty high scoring gameplay, or at least for me high scoring or whatever, but I'm using uh, high score streaks here as well, you can see the VSAT, the dogs, and the swarm, I think the dogs was actually my least used kill streak in all of Black Ops 2, um, or one of them at least, at least for like a higher kill streak. I don't know why, but for me, I, the dogs didn't really cut it for me in Black Ops 2. I didn't really like them that much. I think they were a lot better in Black Ops 1, but that's just my opinion. I'm using the swarm as always. It's pretty good on this map, and I think I pick up one or two. So I do hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. I'm bringing you guys another question and answer video, like I said, so let's kick it off right away. And the first question here comes from Oliver O, and he asks, if i ever been to Iceland, and no, I haven't. I actually have never even traveled out of North America. I've been to Canada, and that's it. I haven't even uh, been on a plane yet in my life, so I I've been pretty much just stranded on the east coast of the U.S. for my whole life. I haven't been travel. I haven't traveled anywhere really, or anything like that. But I would definitely, in the future, when I get older and stuff, hopefully I'll have enough money to travel some to some different countries and you know continents and all that kind of stuff. Because I would love to see. Uh, what the world has to offer I guess you could say but no I've never been to Iceland it's definitely somewhere where I'd like to go and as well as that I have um, family in other countries so I would like to meet them as, as well but like, like I said right now I've been just um, on the east coast my whole life and all that kind of stuff haven't even been on a plane yet and I'm almost 18 so <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate but uh, that's just how it goes thanks for the question the next question is, what is my favorite gun in Black Ops 2? And this is a tough one, but according to my combat record, my favorite gun is the AN-94. That's the gun I have the most kills with. Um, PDW is in second place, but I haven't used that in months. You know, I just stopped using it after a while. It's it's pretty boring to use that gun, but I like using the AN-94. If it was up to me, I, I really don't have a favorite gun, so to say. I love using every single gun in the game. Um, whatever the game gives me, I, I like to use. That's why I like to complete as many challenges as, as I can with all the guns and stuff. That's... That's why I have the diamond camo and the, all of the gold camos and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just something how I am. Like with any video game, I like to beat it 100% or as close to 100% as possible. I don't have all the challenges done for Black Ops 2, but all the gun challenges I have done, um, including you know the the diamond camos and everything for that, I have all diamond everything. So it's just something I strive for, and I, I use every single gun that the game gives me. So I can't really pick. I have a lot of fun using a lot of guns in the game, you know. So thanks for the question. The next one here is, how would I feel if I had a million subscribers or if I reached that point on YouTube? And I guess it would feel great. I mean, who wouldn't want a million subscribers or a million people being notified every time you upload it? I think it would be pretty cool to have like a million people even think about, you know, subscribing or watching my videos and finding it entertaining and stuff like that. But um, right now I'm not even like close to it, but I think right as YouTube is like growing and getting bigger, you know, there's obviously more and more channels reaching a million subscribers. I remember, I think it was White Boy or somebody, but I, I one of the first people to reach one million subscribers in like the Call of Duty community. I remember that, and it was like a, a, a huge milestone. But but now like more and more channels are are reaching a million, you know, two million, eventually three million subscribers in the gaming community, like. Um, really quickly so I think you know it's gonna keep growing and all that kind of stuff and who knows maybe one day in the far future I might be able to reach a million but I I don't know I think it would feel pretty good and all that kind of stuff that would be that would be great but I would I would kinda need to get a little bit lucky along the way probably branch out from Call of Duty not just make it a, a not just make my channel a hundred percent Call of Duty and uh, who knows we might we might reach that point maybe in the very distant future but <laughs> Thanks for the question. The next one here is pretty interesting, and he asks if I was stranded on an island, which one of the following items would I choose to have? A girl, a ball, a phone, a fishing rod, a fridge, or a f or firewood. Now uh, let's go through each one. I probably wouldn't pick a girl or my girlfriend because I wouldn't want to have her stranded out there as well, and we'll just both die. So uh, the girl's probably out of it. A ball? I uh, don't think a ball would be too useful, but it probably would provide hours of entertainment, I guess you could say. Just kidding. But uh, a phone would be my choice because the phone is probably most useful. Um, hopefully you would have service. I doubt it, but um, maybe, maybe you could get lucky and you could just phone somebody, you know, phone back where people are and kind of ask them to come find you. That, that would be my best choice for getting off the island, but... 
um, you know, if I chose the phone, I wouldn't have the fishing rod, the fridge, or firewood. But a fridge, I guess, wouldn't be useful with because there's no food. And I mean, unless it, unless the fridge came filled with food, that would be a good choice. You know, if I'm waiting for the people to come save me, but. A fishing rod um, would also be probably my second choice because the fishing rod would provide if I learned how to fish I guess but it would provide a lot of food you know with fish and all that so that would be good and firewood would probably keep me warm but if I had to choose one it would be the phone then the fishing rod then the fridge and uh, yeah that would that would be my choice hopefully I can get off the island with with those choices but that's an interesting question got me thinking a little bit and the next question here asks if I plan on getting the superior PlayStation 4 console and uh, as of right now I don't plan on getting the Xbox one or the PlayStation 4 um, at least straight away like off release but I may eventually buy one of them um, depending on you know how, how things go for both of them but I think if I were to get one of them I made a video on this I think like a few weeks ago so uh, if you haven't seen that it's it's somewhere on my channel but I said in that video pretty much if I was to get one it would be the PlayStation 4 because I have the Xbox 360 and I haven't got um, a PlayStation since PlayStation 2 and I kind of liked a lot of the games I had so it would be fun to kind of go back and play some of the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. I think you can. I think it's backwards compatible with some type of cloud service or something but um, I think yeah like if I was going to get one it would be the PlayStation 4. Uh, you don't have to pay for online, that's kind of my only problem with my Xbox right now is because, like, I probably would buy a few more games with it, um, for it, like, probably NBA 2K, um, I'd probably buy that and play it online, but I, d I really don't feel like buying, you know, $10 a month or $60 a year for internet, um, or Xbox Live, excuse me, so, that's, you know, that's my only complaint with my Xbox, and I, I don't think I would like to do that again with the Xbox One if I if I were to get that. So I definitely get the PlayStation 4. So thanks for the question, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions you would like to ask me um, in the comments below, let me know. And as always, I'll pick a few out of the comment section or my message inbox or whatever, and I'll compile them for the next episode, which should be uploaded within the next few weeks. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and the gameplay is almost coming to an end here. Uh, school is actually starting up for me next week. This is the last week of summer, so it's kind of unfortunate, but hopefully this will be a good year, you know, being my senior year. I have pretty much an easy, easier schedule. Um, the second half, especially, of the year is extremely easy, so I'm kind of glad I have it harder in the first, first half because that's usually when I try harder and probably senioritis will set in um, <laughs> later in the year, so... It's good I have my harder classes in the first half, but uh, that's pretty much it guys, and really quickly before the video ends, if you guys have made it this far in my video and you upload videos yourself to your channel of Call of Duty or whatever it is, if you have your own gaming channel or, or whatever, just as long as you upload videos yourself, go ahead and click that link in the top left corner. It's something new that I'm going to be trying on my channel to try to help some of my subscribers out who also upload videos themselves. So so it's pretty much experimental right now, but, I hope, but hopefully it'll be successful. Hopefully it'll help you guys out as well. So thanks for watching the whole video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace, guys.